Hi everybody, Michael Brown with you here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to be talking more about modifying and perfecting selections and making them flawless. In the last few lessons, we've looked at the tools, how to make, add and subtract, modify, paint selections. In the last lesson, we looked at feather, how to adjust the softness and thickness of the edge. In this lesson, we're going to go further into refining the edge of a selection. First of all, we're going to do a little recap of the use of feather. Um, we're going to go into the refine edge dialog box. If you look at your toolbar and every one of the selection tools, over here it's grayed out right now because we don't, I'll just make an active selection. And now you see that the Refine Edge button is highlighted also with the lasso tools. There it is here. With the Magic Wand tool, there it is there. And with the Quick Selection tool, it's even there. Now the Pen tool does not have it, but once you get a selection with any tool that does not have the easy access to the Refine Edge, you can always go to the Select menu and right above the Modify drop-down menu, you'll see Refine Edge there. So as long as you have an active selection, doesn't matter what tool you're in, you can get to the Refine Edge dialog box through the Select menu. Okay? All right. So let's go and take a look at this shot that we did before. And I want to do a little bit of recap, and we'll move forward at the same time. Remember we selected the sky in this particular shot and we found that the quick selection tool did not necessarily do the best job because it, as it looked for the edges, you can see it right there. It dropped down because it was unable to detect that specific edge and it dropped down to find a harder point of contrast and texture. So we tried the magic wand tool and remember you can adjust your tolerance. The wider the tolerance, the wider the range of color. If I run this up to like 65 and I click, it's probably going to go crazy. Look what happened. It pulled all the way down past the mountains, almost down to the greenery. If we drop back to about 35, it's still too much. But if we drop down around, let's say 11, we don't get it all. There's the band of similar color to correspond to a tolerance of 11. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we'd hold our shift key to get the plus sign, or you can go directly to the add icon, click and expand it. Whoops, I didn't add. I just did that. So it took a new one, shift to add. There's that shift one more time. And you can now see that let's zoom up with command on a Mac, control on a PC, and the space bar will scrubby zoom on up. And here we are. You see we got a really nice, nice tight edge to the mountain line between the, the mountains and the sky. We're going to take a look with Quick Mask at the edge of that selection. Let's zoom it up, command or control plus a few times, and look what happens with the magic wand. And this quick selection does have anti-aliasing that smooths slightly, but not necessarily enough. In this case, you can tell we have no feather. You can see that by the jaggies. So that's going to be a little prohibitive to make a smooth blend. So how do we deal with that? Remember, in the past, we could have gone select, modify, feather, and picked a number but you don't necessarily see immediately what the number is doing until you type it in. Then you go back to Quick Mask and you go, gee, that's a little too soft. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and back that out to where we've got the hard one. Well, there's